Welcome back campers to another Candy Adventures adventure and today we're going to be trying to make authentic ramen. Japanese style ramen with this and this. So now we just need to get out in the jungle and try to get some ingredients together which is going to be shrimp hopefully today deep in the jungle and we think you people especially are really going to enjoy this Japanese style ramen cooking video. Hey what do you People. No, not like you people. I mean the audience. But if the audience is Japanese too, I don't mean it like you people. I mean like Candy Adventures Explorers people. Everyone enjoys <laughs> Japanese style ramen noodles. <laughs> yeah. Come on. <laughs> You have to stay. No. Come here. Sit. You have to stay today. You cannot go. You have to stay. As you can see, we have made it here outside of the vehicle and off the highways. Um, but what we have not done is found water yet. But I fully believe that we have the abilities to find water soon. <laughs> We're just gonna keep going downhill. Eventually there's gonna be something at the bottom. Also, I wanted to mention the shrimp, uh, shrimp spear if you've not watched our videos before. Um, this is the top portion of a fishing pole that was no longer in surface, had the eyes removed off of it. On top here, epoxied on, is some welding rods that have been sharpened a little bit. Those are just some stiff welding rods. This is a piece of surgical tubing or a piece of tubing for a Hawaiian sling. And what you do is you put this in your hand you hold here and you aim it at a, a shrimp in the water and you let go. And hopefully we will skewer some shrimp with this. We've reverted back to this one. This was given to me by a friend, Joey. Uh, he made this. I tried copying his design. Mine is inferior. Um, <laughs> I think it comes down to these much thicker uh, longer, welding rods. Yeah, yeah, longer too. Do a better job of grabbing the shrimp. And Elizabeth yeah. here has this badass butterfly oh. net. So uh, our first video, we had a shorter one, but we went longer because they, the shrimp watch you above the surface. So we're gonna try to outsmart them or be faster with a longer pole. We'll see. All right, so let's uh, keep pushing on through these mosquitoes and see if we can find some water and then hopefully some- uh, Shrimp. Shrimp, cr cretaceans, cetaceans? What are they? Not cetaceans, I got them. I hope we don't find cetaceans up here. <laughs> uh, Crustaceans. Yes. Crustaceans. Some big armed crustaceans up here. Some macio, macro, macro, break, 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 macro, break, 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 shrimp? <laughs> big arm shrimp. We're going to go look for big arm shrimp. Long gangly arm shrimp. Come on. All right. So right down here, uh, we have found some water. So we did it. <laughs> we one success so far. One small success. So we found water in the jungle. So We had to count the small W's because there's usually a lot of L's. Speaking of W's, why is it you think all of a sudden George W. Bush, who was the laughing stock of the media for eight years, is now best friends with all these celebrities and politicians? Something's fishy about that. Something's a little sure. pat patatic. Patatic. Patatic? 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 What's that? Something's like smells fishy and bad in tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> all right, so there's no more trail. Uh, basically, all we have now is a river, and we're going to use the river as our trail, and we're going to follow it upstream and hopefully find some shrimp. And yeet! A lot of shrimp but we haven't speared one or caught one in the net yet but I did find a shrimp molt so shrimp are arthropods they have exoskeletons and they molt their exterior skeleton when they get bigger and it's pretty typical that they actually eat their own molts or other shrimp do so this isn't too common to find the molts I've seen them eating them multiple times but 
That's our level of success so far. Now we gotta go catch up with Chris. <laughs> So that's an extraordinarily beautiful spot to show you some shrimp. And we're starting to find some. They're just a little small. Um, I know during Thanksgiving, you know, we just came out of Thanksgiving, a lot of people might have been harvesting some shrimp. So hopefully we can still find some good ones. But this looks like a smaller female. Um, so we just thought we'd show you that we are finding them. We found water in the jungle. And then we have found shrimp. So we can do it. And we have a can-do attitude. But a we're can be attitude. A can be attitude. A can be attitude. attitude. But we're just going to keep looking for some a little bigger than this because that's uh, that's teeny tiny. That'd be like a, a baby popcorn shrimp by the time you cook that up. So we're looking for a, something a little more substantial. There's also two different species that Chris caught in this net. So this is our target species, the Tahitian shrimp, that gets significantly larger than this. And then there are little glass shrimp in here. So this shrimp specifically, like you can see her eggs. So she's a pregnant female. So this is adult size for these glass shrimp. Um, but we're targeting this, not this. <laughs> this, fish food. This, our food. All right, let's put these uh, little wonders of nature back and continue on through the jungle and see if we can find some dinner. If you're relatively new to the channel, uh, we've done a similar video before. So this is like a one year anniversary. Uh, we did a shrimp spearing video last year and we were pretty successful. It looks bigger underwater. <laughs> it's like not that impressive. Very selective about the shrimp that we got, but um, that time we were just spearing shrimp and I ended up beating Christopher. <laughs> Your hands are abnormally large, so this is not going to give most people a size of reference. <laughs> Today is just kind of like one year anniversary, remaking that video, visiting this very secluded river that um, maybe a lot of people don't regularly access. So this is a little bit bigger, a um, little bit bigger of a guy here super fired up and ready to fight, but still not quite big enough of what we're looking for. So we're gonna keep pushing up. And it uh, seems a little counterintuitive to go higher up in the water stream of a river as the river keeps getting smaller and smaller to look for bigger shrimp. But I think that's what we're gonna have to do today. The easier the shrimp are to get to, I think the easier other people can get to them. And so you keep having to walk farther and farther. So we're gonna put this guy back, let him grow and keep on our fun little hike. Finally got on some bigger shrimp. Um, I really hope we can just do a few more than this, but we, we got one. We might have a one shrimp ramen yeah. dish. But we're gonna keep trying. The sun's going down and we're racing that, but we're trying. We're working for you people because we know you people want to see some ramen noodle videos because we know how much you people like this. Hey, <laughs> we talked about this, Chris. <laughs> You people as in Candy Adventure subscribers. So we're really looking forward to this because I love ramen. We've eaten nothing but turkey for the last two days. We cooked a turkey for you guys. And then we also cooked a turkey for our Thanksgiving that happened in real time. So we're looking forward to getting something other than thanks, uh, giving turkey in our bellies. This is our makeshift cooler in here. Yeah. So our cooler, um, okay, so those were, okay. But below that <laughs> is a Ziploc bag um, that we, we put a nice uh, frozen water bottle. And then we just put these inside that. Okay, so there's a few. Okay. <laughs> it's in there. Oh, that's the cooler? That's the cooler. Oh, I thought it was a Ziploc bag. So our makeshift cooler is just a Ziploc bag filled with generic branded frozen water bottles. And an orange juice? You can take orange juice out if you want. Oh, oh. Beautiful shrimp, blue coloring on it. Really pretty. But that's going to go into our ramen later. All right. One down. <laughs> I 
a wild Elizabeth. <laughs> Trying to call Chris in. <laughs> We are having a hard time finding shrimp of preferred size. I think when we came out here, it's, a, it's more like two years ago, uh, there were a lot of monsters and so it was easy to be selective. And now going out here today, it seems like there aren't as many large ones as last time. Not sure why that is. We have seen a lot of really good sized eels though and there aren't really any uh, flagtail or jungle perch. So I guess that the eels crush the shrimp and maybe that's why. I'm not sure, but what I did find is this jaw just perfectly sitting here. So this is the lower mandible of um, a feral pig here in Guam. This is really cool. I've never found the intact bottom. It's missing a few teeth, but the tusks are, are pretty cool. Um, they, I've never heard of anybody in Guam being mauled by a feral pig. I don't think it happens. Most people see them in their backyards here regularly, especially in the southern portions. Cool find, no shrimp, well, the one shrimp, but lower mandible. All right. So we're getting on some shrimp finally. And uh, we did get some, uh, while they were looking up maybe dead human remains or something earlier. No. Um, I'm gonna surprise you guys with the shrimp I'm packing in my pocket. Check this out. Mmm. How's that look? Pocket mm. shrimp. <laughs> now I got pachatic pockets for sure. Oh. We were also told by an informant that has some relation to the uh, country of Japan that sometimes, sometimes ramen only has one shrimp in it so we really are doing fine we're really doing fine no need to panic that the sun's going down we're running out of time to film and that we're covered in mosquitoes um so really we're doing a okay <laughs> so we're going to keep fishing a little bit on our way back down this is our turnaround spot it's gotten uh really mosquito heavy and um the sun's going to start going down and our video quality goes down when the sun goes down so we're going to go ahead and make it back to the truck it's about a two or three hour walk down back down this river and uh, let's go get these into the grill. Maybe we'll shoot some more, hopefully, but if not, we got enough to make up some ramen here. One bowl with four shrimpies. Woo! <laughs> so now I got to carry the spear on our way back, and I have landed one. I have one to go with our ramen bowl. So slowly filling up our one bowl of ramen with at least another shrimp. First time, first time. Oh. oh. It's okay. <laughs> successfully made it out of the ravine up the, the cliff and uh, we get to go to the truck drive home and cook up these shrimp covered mosquitoes and about I would say the food that we caught versus the calories that we burned today is probably a calorie deficit of about 3,000 or 4,000 so <laughs> let's go ahead and uh, not get full <laughs> Welcome back. Bam, bam, <laughs> bam. Everybody's doing old memes. So we're covered in fire ants and mosquito bites. On the hike out, uh, it got real miserable and I don't know if we hit some trees that were covered in fire ants, but 
I have a Benadryl in my system right now and a couple of beers. We gotta film this quick because it's gonna knock me out. But the itching is so insane that we have to like we have to film this right now because I know what happens when you mix a Benadryl with a beer. It's it puts it's like a tranquilizer dart to the net. Um, from like you know that old school where Will Ferrell gets hit in the net with a dart and he's. That's the most powerful trank gun on the market, huh? Got her in Mexico. Ow! Oh! I like you. But you're crazy. But we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna boil them up, and we're going to make some delicious ramen with them. And we also, uh, to make it more authentic, we deviled some eggs? I don't know how you would call it, but we took some soy sauce and vinegar and some sesame seeds, and we boiled some eggs, peeled them, and put this, put them in this in preparation marinated? last night. Marinated? Yeah, soy sauce marinated eggs. I, I know there's probably a technical Soaked? name for this. Yeah, and it's hopefully it, the eggs draw up all that color and flavor, and when you cut them in half and lay them in the ramen, they're really pretty and mm -hmm. delicious. I hope. We put honey, soy sauce, a little bit of vinegar and some toasted sesame seeds and the eggs have been in that for 24, 36 hours, something like that. Mm. So let's go ahead and get this burning. This meal is going to be dripping. Look at that. That's a good looking popcorn bowl. That looks good. You say, why are you making it like this? And I'll tell you why. It's because neither one of us want to do dishes. And I can feel the sleep freight train coming to wreck me right now as the Benadryl is kicking in and blending with the alcohol to keep the ant bites from itching so bad. Regardless of how this tastes, you damn well know I'm gonna look at you in the eyes and tell you it's the best thing I ever had, just like every Kara and Nate video you've ever watched. Mmm. 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 Yeah. Get in here. Mm. Yeah. Oh boy. Not that much. Less. Mmm. 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 -hmm. And again, it is really good. Mm-hmm. It's these spicy, these spicy pre-made ramen noodles. We harvest our own shrimp. Full of Benadryl getting ready to, <laughs> getting ready to pass out. Uh, I'm gonna sleep like an angel because we walked up and down the river today. Yeah. Thanks again to Shiho for coming out and being an awesome camera woman and spe sh She speared a shrimp. The girl's turning into an animal. Doesn't really like fishing or, or doing some and shrimp and all of a sudden she's swinging spears and Taste catching fish. Four. Like we've said from the beginning in this channel, we're not experts, but we're just showing you that anybody can learn how to do any of this stuff. And mm -hmm. Shiho is showing that. She is just as good as us at this stuff. Yep. She's done it once. So we're gonna make Mona her own little bowl and we'll see you guys next time. All right, Mona. let's go surprise Mona with a fun little treat. Hey, good girl. Did you help today? Did you get some ramen? Good girl.